This is the second last poem of my set, but I'm mentally it's the last poem because my last poem is an epilogue. Um, so in this period of time, I will very, very quickly shout out a few people, and that is Sara Mansour, the founder of Bangsam Poetry Sam, who's a great friend and mentor of mine, Bilal and Iman, who have just supported me through this entire process of feeling very imposter syndrome-y. Um, my friends, you know who you are. And I also want everyone to give a big, big round of applause to my mum. She's loving it, she loves that. So just a little bit of context, I started performing when I was 15 and I dragged, I say I dragged my mom to every slam, but mom had to come to me, come with me to every single slam. And so she's been through like the ringer. She's heard everything, she hates everything, she has her own favorites. She's like, why are you performing that? That sounded better like that. Um, she's my biggest critique, but also my undoubtedly biggest support. And I adore her and I love her. Um, yes, okay, fine, tick, done. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Yes, I'm very, very lucky to have the greatest support system. Anyone who has any hesitations about joining the SLAM community, I am the living embodiment of what it can do to your life. Um, and it has played an instrumental role in developing as a human being, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this poem, I never had the time to write. And it is a poem, ironically, about timing. And this is called, Not Why Me, Why Now? In 1987, 17-year-old Lisa McVie is planning to take her life after she finishes her shift at the local donut shop. She has suffered brutal assault since she was 13 by her grandmother's boyfriend while her grandmother watched. Lisa's plan is fractured when she is dumped with a double shift and in her 2 a.m. commute home, She's accidentally catapulted into the eyes of Bubby Joe Long, a serial killer who has littered the dead bodies of 10 women across the state of Florida before finding his next meal in her. He kidnaps and assaults her for 26 hours, 1,560 minutes of brutalized terror. But Bobby Joe Long was met with a girl, not yet woman, but just as yet weapon, who sat on the seat of suicidal ideation and instead of getting the courage contortioned out of her, looks her captor in the eye, pleads for her life that only 1,560 minutes ago she was going to discard. Lisa ends up becoming the first woman ever released and left alive by Bobby Joe Long. Lisa ends up becoming a police officer. Lisa ends up working in the same department that found and arrested her captor. Lisa met every intersection of death and the result of an annoying double shift left her in the most miraculous conclusion of all. She was alive and she wanted to be. On March 6, 2017, a homeowner who is running late leaves the sprinklers on her front lawn on. Her house is the only house across two counties saved from the largest recorded wildfire in the state of Kansas. When my brother was three, he unchained himself from my mom's hands in a Bunnings car park and missed the teeth of a four wheel drive by me seconds. Today, he is the brightest 12 year old I know. Yes, I'm not the golden child. When the red light feels like it is two minutes too long and the car in front of me is squeezing in like an unwanted weed. I remind myself this lane, this lane does not belong to me. That 20-second head, head start is gifted for someone else. I remind myself that we have to be patient even when we cannot see from what we are being protected. When your day is shredded with inconvenience and exodus against routine normalcy, learn that it is better to be late in this life than the next. Our inconveniences are protecting us from different bodies of death. Our steps are written where they are meant. When you are wounded with a crippling heart, do not forget the sensation of joy. Learn the dagger is time to tear you and teach you. Every rejection is just redirection. Every step to something is a step away from something. Every step away from something is a step to something. 
Your ligaments are an instrument that are playing to a tune that you can't see, but when the time is just right, you will realize the shrapnel is sometimes just the shield that you need. Thank you.